We are live. How about that? This is, for those of you that are watching this on the replay, the final live stream from the Nerd Bar, the final live stream from Ohio, the final live stream from Cincinnati. Uh, let me pull this sucker up on my computer so I can see the chat. We got someone in here already. Uh, I'm not expecting a lot of people to be on this thing because I'm starting at 6 p.m. Eastern. People are probably, what's up, Nick? Uh, people are probably still eating dinner on the East Coast. People are still working on the West Coast. I mean, it's like, uh, what, 3, 12 in the afternoon on the West Coast right now. So I'm not expecting a whole lot of people here for this. It'd be helpful if my mouse was on. But uh, I'm going to, why is this stupid freaking mouse not working? There we go. Uh, I'm going to pull up the chat on here so I could see all of the... Nope. That's not what I wanted. All right. There it is. All right. We're live. And let's see here. We got uh, Cream City Figs, Epic 1244, Roy's Toys, Donald Ray, Carlos Rosas, uh, Patrick Siciliano, Charles Robles, Chris Deal, Stuart Fulbrook, and who else we got? Channel, Channel Siscart. CM Brock 1, Jim 741, Assassin 9411, The Worst Toy Channel, Chris Morales. A lot of people in here. There's a lot of people in here. Thank you, uh, everyone, for uh, joining me at 6.13 Eastern Time on a Monday afternoon. But this is video three of four, if you're counting. Uh, I was going to do four final videos from the Nerd Bar from Ohio uh, and this is video three of four. So we got one more after this one. That one's going to be all hot toys. This one, I actually have more stuff that I picked up recently. So I'm going to show you this stuff. I'm going to, I'm not going to unbox it all uh, because I basically have to repack this stuff as soon as we're done here. But I'm going to open up two things on this live stream and I'm going to show you one other thing uh, out of package. So, uh, should we wait for more people? How many people do we have in here? We have 34 people. Thank you to the 34 that are in here right now. I'm going to try and uh, stay up to date with these comments. But you know me, if you watch my live streams, I tend to go off on tangents. And I tend to miss a lot of comments. So I apologize before uh, we get started if I miss your comment. Uh, but I'm going to try and keep up with them the best I can. All right. So uh, let's see here. Uh... Let me see if I can get with these comments here. Stuart's in the UK. What's up, man? What time is it in the UK? Are they? Uh, are you guys eight hours behind us or ahead of us? Is that right? Am I totally off? I think it's eight hours, six hours. I don't know. I'm talking out of my A right now. <clears throat> Channel Siscart lives in Fort Worth. Welcome back to Texas. I'll be in Texas on Saturday. So we're going to be leaving here on Friday. Uh, Friday, I think, and then we're driving down. It is 11.14 in the UK right now. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be down in Texas on Saturday and then uh, closing on the house on Monday or Tuesday. Everything is a blur right now for me. Everything is just one big, huge freaking blur. Um, everything's starting to morph together time-wise for me. Uh, let's see what else here. CM Brock, what's up? I'm still at work, but I had to tune in. Thank you, CM Brock, for tuning at work. Hopefully you don't get in trouble for tuning in at work. Um, yeah, so Jim, uh, this is a Cobra Kai t-shirt. He said, cool shirt. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. I think I got this one at Ripped Apparel. I bought a lot of their, their t-shirts. Those are the, uh, they offer t-shirts, uh, like day one, like one day at a really low price. I think they're like 13 bucks. And then after that, they raise it to like 18, 19, 20 bucks, whatever. But uh, I like their stuff. Uh, Mrs. Cincy just got back. She got her hair did. I can hear her talking upstairs. Uh, let's see here. Chris is in the West. What's up, Chris? Uh, what's up from Salt Lake City, Utah? J.R. Kaneko is in Salt Lake City. Uh, Jason, what's up, man? Okay, so we have a little bit of a forum here. We got 67 people. Can't stay, but had to drop for the. Thanks, Donald. Thank you for dropping by. I appreciate it. Uh, and check out the uh, the replay. I guess whenever this is done. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna go. 
I'm thinking maybe an hour, two hours, I don't know. Depends how the discussion is, depends how long it takes me to get through all this stuff here. But this is all stuff you have not seen before. Uh, this is stuff that toy department has gotten in conveniently the week before I leave. They got all this stuff in. Some of the stuff they got in like yesterday. So uh, yeah, I've had to hit up toy department for uh, some... I got a couple grails in here. Some stuff that I had on high on my want list. So I picked it up. But I'll show you guys that in just a second. Just want to... Um, Josh Pence is here. What's up, Josh? Uh, Big Dub here. Big Dub is here. What's up, Big Dub? Let's see who else is uh, joined. Mike Hare, is that Cobra Kai? Yes, it is. Uh, I'm uh, not caught up. I watched like half of season one of Cobra Kai. I love the show so far, but I need to catch up. I haven't really had time to, to catch up on that. So I'm still working on that. Uh, let's see here. Josh Pence said, two years ago today was our first collab video. Was it really? Two years ago today? That's crazy. It doesn't seem like that long. Uh, let's see. Did I... K, K Kiko collects. Did you sell any hot toys to the toy department before the move? I may have some of yours if so. Yes, you probably do have some of my hot toys. I, I sold quite a bit. I had to downsize. Uh, I sold stuff that I didn't want to sell, uh, but I had too much stuff. And uh, I'm going from a house that has a gigantic basement that I had pretty much access to the entire basement, finished and unfinished, to a, uh, a basically a bedroom. So I'm gonna have one of the big bedrooms upstairs. It's gonna be shared for my studio for work, but also gonna have my collection in it. So I had to downsize uh, big time, but I kept a lot of good stuff. I kept a lot of stuff that I really, really, really loved. I did sell a lot of hot toys just because I just didn't have room for them. And I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna have them just sitting in boxes in storage in an attic wherever if i'm gonna own it i'm gonna display it i'm gonna have it out so yes there's probably gonna be a few things little small things that i will have to cycle in and out of my detolfs but for the most part um i didn't want to have just a ton of stuff in storage that i can't display but i've been picking up stuff recently and this stuff is all six inch stuff so this is going to fit nicely in the detolfs uh i've kind of been taking a liking to not only downsizing the size of the collection, but downsizing the size of the figures. So I did mostly Hot Toys before. I still have a ton of Hot Toys. The next video is going to, the final video from this place is going to be six freaking Hot Toys. So I still have a bunch of them, but I'm kind of focusing more on the smaller sized. Um, for Star Wars, the three and three quarter inch figures, G.I. Joe three and three quarter inch figures, and then a lot of six inch stuff, a lot of He-Man stuff. We got some a lot of NECA turtle stuff. I'm gonna show you something back there. I bought a freaking Fortnite figure because it's like a six inch GI Joe figure. I'm gonna unbox that. And then Legends, obviously, right there. I actually put like seven Legends on hold at Comics to Games today. So I'm gonna be picking those up, I think tomorrow or the next day. But yeah, seven new freaking Legends. Um, or is it, it's, it's five Legends and two Black Series figures. So you'll see that, I guess, when I get down to Texas, when I do my first video down there. Let me go ahead and catch up on some of these comments and then we'll get started on this on the haul here. We got, holy crap, there's 103 people watching. This is awesome. 6.20 uh, Eastern Time on a Monday afternoon. This is awesome. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm glad. I didn't do any kind of advertisement or promotion or I didn't let anyone know when I was going to be doing this. So I would say a large portion of people that are watching this right now are probably watching this on replay. So for those of you that are here live, thank you very much for uh, having notifications on because you probably wouldn't have known that I was doing this otherwise. I'm going to try and catch up on comments because I'm freaking motor mouth right now. Uh, let's see. Where the hell did I leave off? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, did I miss anyone pop in? Self-help hero. I'm in the UK. Oh, I already read that one, didn't I? Uh, Cream City Fixes Friday is WiscoCon. Uh, I assume that's a large convention in Wisconsin. So have fun there if you're going in there. Hopefully you find some stuff you're looking for. Um, Josh, it's pretty, going pretty good. I just saw your comment there. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, strike hard, strike first, no mercy, sir. Yes. Mike Pierce. By the way, I just saw... Where did I see those? I think it was at Comics to Games. They actually have... I think it's like a 7-inch scale. I don't know who makes those. Is it NECA? 
seven inch scale karate kid figures that are like they have soft goods and there's a freaking johnny with the damn skeleton costume on and i want that figure that's awesome so i might pick that one up too i might, I might have a little bit of a haul from comics to games either tomorrow or the next day whenever i go because that's my final <sighs> final trip to comics to games while i still live here um but you never know i'm going to be coming up to so Armchair Expert with Dax Shepard just released a new podcast and Aubrey Plaza is available. I subscribed to podcasts and that just popped up. Anyway, um, I'm going to be coming back to Ohio, uh, Columbus once a month. But what I could do is fly into Cincinnati or fly into CVG, which is northern Kentucky, visit Comics to Games on like a Sunday night or afternoon, visit Comics to Games, hit up Toy Department, hit up all the stores along the way and then make my way to Columbus and then work and then leave. I think that's a pretty damn good idea, if I do say so myself. Uh, let's see, where am I on these comments? I'm already way behind. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with this because I've totally lost track of where the, these comments are. I'm gonna go to the, <laughs> I'm gonna go to, BJ is here, I just saw his uh, name there. So what's up, uh, BJ? Uh, Lord Luigi, I'm watching from work right now. I work at Target and we just got in the new archive series. So I'm picking up the mall, Anakin and Yoda for sure. Yes, uh, I'm picking up the Anakin and Yoda. So Comics to Games got that wave. So I'm really excited for that because that Yoda totally blew me away at Celebration. That was my first time ever seeing that Yoda. And that thing is freaking insane. If, if the actual figure looks as good and hopefully I don't start losing... I'm having all these damn pop-ups on my freaking phone. If the actual figure, the Yoda, looks as good as the how it looked at Celebration in that case, holy freaking crap, that's an awesome looking figure. That's like one of the best Yodas I've ever seen. So, this thing's starting to get choppy. Hey, if I start like farting out on this thing, if the damn connection starts doing weird sh stuff, and I start like blipping out, just let me know in the comments so I'm not talking about something important while I'm freaking freaking out. <clears throat> yeah, okay, so uh, Knight of Ren said Karate Kid is by NECA. So yeah, those Karate Kid figures look pretty awesome. I know it was a Mr. Miyagi. It was a Daniel. Um, I forgot what he was wearing, like his baseball shirt. And then it was Johnny in the skeleton outfit. <clears throat> Lord Luigi's wa watching from work. Oh, I already read that one. Uh, Chris Morales said, get him in a body bag. Sweep the leg. Uh, let's see, let's see. How much for a shot? I don't have anything to drink. The only thing that I have left... Oh, I got some beer in here, but I'm not drinking right now. It's like 6 in the afternoon. I'm just drinking my Diet Coke from McDonald's here. Um, I'm leaving two bottles of wine for the new home buyers. So they're actually going to have some of this stuff that's here in the Nerd Bar. They're going to have uh, this thing that holds glasses. They're going to have my little wine thing there. They're going to have the, the kegerator leaving them some goodies here. So hopefully they enjoy this place as much as I enjoyed it. <clears throat> Let me, uh, let's see here. Andrew says, how are you? Hope all is well. I'm doing great. i um, nervous for the move. I'm nervous for the drive down. I get nervous over stuff like that. I just want it to all go smoothly. I don't want any psychos on the road on the way down. I don't want any bad drivers. I don't want any freaking thunderstorms. Just be nice weather, nice weather on the way down and I'll be good to go. Hopefully I can find a freaking hotel that allows dogs on the way down. I'm worried about that. That doesn't charge $200 non-refundable for a freaking dog with an external exit so that I don't have to freaking walk a dog through the lobby. Stuff like that that makes me nervous. Stuff like that that goes through my head. That's how my brain works. I'm worrying literally like most of the time about stuff like that. Anyway, uh, am I coming through Nashville? So. I am either coming through Nashville. If we do this in three days, I'm going through St. Louis and then Little Rock and then Dallas. If we do this in two days, and this all depends on how long it takes for these movers to put all of our crap in the truck. If we do this in two days, I'm not doing St. Louis, I'm not doing Little Rock, I'm doing Memphis and then Dallas. So either one stop or two stops on the way down from Cincinnati to Dallas. It sucks when you buy a new house because you have to leave a lot of the cool stuff you're accustomed to having behind. Yeah, exactly. But also, we're going to be setting it up 
new, so it's going to be new and refreshing and cool, and we're buying some new stuff. I'm getting a big-ass TV. I'm really excited about that. I'm getting like a 75-inch TV, like a freaking 4K. I'm so freaking, so freaking pumped for that. Um, I'm very excited for that. So I'm getting that, and then we have all the games on there. It's going to be in a loft area. It's going to be like a whole entertainment area. Can you tell I'm a little excited for this? It's going to have like, uh, I'm going to have sports stuff on the wall. I'm going to freaking get one-up machines in the loft. One-up machines. I'm going to get the Turtles machine. I'm thinking about getting the one with the Final Fight because it also has Ghosts and Goblins, 1944, and Strider. I saw it at Walmart today for $2.99. Oh, this loft is going to be pretty freaking awesome. So I'm really excited. And then we're going to have a small bar in there too. So it's going to be like a mini nerd bar. I'm freaking pumped. So I'm gonna have the I'm gonna have the loft, but I'm also gonna have like the collection room, I guess. Anyway, off topic. Let me get back to these comments. I apologize. You guys are commenting, and I'm just like not even seeing them. Um, all right. Uh, diet soda is really not good. I totally agree. Ionicus, I should be drinking water. I don't drink nearly enough water. I drink way too much diet soda. I gotta back off that. Um, yeah. Things will go great. Positive vibes. Thank you, Stephen, for the positive vibes. La Quinta free for pet. Oh, okay. Um, might consider that. Um, what's up, boxing fan? Get on that one-up life. Hell yes, big dub. You're freaking arcade, man. Jesus. You made me jealous. <laughs> Getting all those damn one-up machines. Um, yeah, I want like I want a couple one-up machines. I think that's going to be so fun because I've always wanted like to have an arcade. I've always wanted to have a movie theater, and we're not going to be able to do that at this new house. We were looking for like a house that had like a big media room, theater room, um, but we didn't find one in our price range. But uh, arcade is the other thing I've always wanted. Basically, I want to live like I was 12 years old again. I want to have an arcade and a movie theater, a bunch of toys. Yes, that's the life right there. Um, big dub. LOL just went balls deep right away. The final fight machine is the best all-around machine. All the games are fun. Can't wait for the TMN TMNT, though. I think that Final Fight Machine might be my first one. So, yeah, I've had my eye on that up here. I didn't buy it up here because, obviously, then I have to pay for shipping down there. So I might just buy it in Walmart when I get down there. That'll be my, like, um, what do you call it? Housewarming gift for myself. <clears throat> the new Nerd Bar, Nerd Cave, Cincy Cave. I, I'm thinking Nerd Loft. Um, and then uh, I don't know what the, the toy room is going to be called. I'm going to go ahead and start showing you this stuff here because I've just been talking nonstop. We're already almost 20 minutes in. We have 123 people. I know some people tune in just to see the stuff here. So I'm going to get started on this and then I'll get back to the comments. Will you rename our group? Uh, if uh, Nick is referring to the Nerd Bar Facebook group, I don't know because I don't know if I'm going to have a Nerd Bar right away. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll just leave it up to the group to call it what it wants to be called. So we'll figure it out. Uh, so let's first of all get to these. So these are the two that I'm going to be opening up. I'm going to do the haul first, show you everything I got, and then I'm going to open these guys up because I honestly, I just want to see how the articulation is on this one. Let's start with this one. So this is a Fortnite figure. This is a six inch Fortnite figure Havoc, AKA Firefly from GI Joe. Cause that is freaking Firefly. I don't care what you say. The pink rabbit guy is the freaking kid from Christmas story. Um, that's Firefly. So hopefully they do more characters in Fortnite, more skins, I guess. I don't play Fortnite, so I know nothing about it. All I know is I love G.I. Joe. I've been begging for six-inch G.I. Joe figures. Hasbro is not answering our calls, and Fortnite did. So I bought this for the fact that it looks like Firefly from frickin' Cobra. G.I. Joe Firefly. So let me know in... Uh, in the comments, I guess if you bought this, the only negative I've heard about this is the fact that his finger is articulated and it doesn't work very good. So yeah, instead of having just like one molded hand to hold a gun, his he's got like he's got like finger action. Um, I don't know how that's gonna work because the old Marvel Legends by Toy Biz used to have that same deal, the articulated finger, and I didn't really like that. So I guess we'll find out how this is. Um, and it looks like just this finger is that called an index finger is that a pointer finger i don't know what the freaking names of your individual fingers are but um it looks like firefly so i got it so i'll open that one up later um 
Firefly was a double agent, right? No, I think he was strictly Cobra, as far as I can remember. Um, the only guy that I remember that was like a double agent was like Chuckles, um, who was an undercover guy who wore the flowered shirt on G.I. Joe. And he, in the comic books, infiltrated Cobra, uh, saw a lot of crazy crap go down in the comic book series. That was a great comic book series. Um, it was a Chuckles-based series. Uh, in uh, IDW did it, I think. Uh, I got to give it out to my buddy Jason for uh, hooking me up. Uh, I did not see these at all in my area. And he messaged me and he said he saw these in down in West Virginia. And he offered to pick it up for me. So I was like, hell yes, thank you. Um, sent him the cash and he sent me this. So this is freaking awesome. The first one he actually sent, um, I didn't notice until I got it. But it didn't have paint on the star. It was paintless. So I was like, hey man, is there any way that I can send this back for one? Because he had another one. So we, we swapped it out. And he has, the uh, I guess, the variant or the error. Um, I just wanted one with the painted star because I was thinking about painting the star, but I'm just not a good, I can't paint worth a, a damn. I can't paint at all. So I didn't want to ruin the figure, but this looks pretty good. I wish the shield was broken though. If that shield was broken, this would be a, this would be a contender for me. But as it is right now, it looks pretty good. I can't wait to take it out of the package. Uh, I do see hidden Mjolnir back there. Spoiler alert for those who have not seen Endgame. You could, I guess, see the second version of Endgame, which is coming out with the additional footage. <laughs> Cash grab. Uh, but anyway, I wish that this had the broken shield. Uh, if anyone knows any customizers out there that are actually selling the broken shield, let me know. Because I'd probably be interested in buying one. Just to give it the more um, screen accurate look. So I got that one. All right, so uh, I love the turtles. I have all the cartoon turtles. I got those two packs from Target. I got the movie turtles. Um, I ordered the Shredder pack, the movie Shredder and Splinter and Foot Clan. That was an SDCC NECA thing. I, I lucked out and got that one. I have the comic turtles, with the exception of Raph. He's the only one I need. I got the comic SDCC pack for Shredder. So really the only turtles that I was missing were the video game ones by NECA. I am still missing the turtles, but I did pick, I gotta move my McDonald's cup. I did pick up this beauty right here. So this is NECA, and this is a San Diego Comic-Con. I think this was, correct me if I, oh, it says right here. I don't have to guess. 2016 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, multi-pack, video game, bam! Foot Clan with Shredder and three Foot Soldiers. So, uh, yeah, as soon as they announced that uh, TMNT 1UP machine, I was like, I kind of need the freaking video game versions. I'm going to have a whole Detolf dedicated to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by NECA. So I'm really, really freaking excited to set that up when I get there. Um, comic, cartoon, movie, video game. So I am obviously now on the lookout for the actual Turtles, the four-pack Turtles, which I think was also an SDCC set. Um, but let me show you this. I'm not going to open this uh, up right now, but I will when I get to the, the new house. Open these up. I'm going to do like a whole collection series. I'm going to... I'm thinking about just recording the whole experience of setting up the room, kind of planning where I'm going to put stuff, setting up the actual cabinets. I think it'll it, it'll be fun for me, and then it'll be kind of cool to see someone start with like, you know, like a plan and see it come to fruition with a whole like collection room. So that'll be fun. But I got this set, and here's what it looks like on the back. Foot Clan. I think they're reissuing this one. I saw something. I did not look into it, but I saw something about the video game Shredder being offered again. I don't know if it's going to be an SDCC exclusive this year. It might be. But I saw a quick picture, and I forgot which YouTube channel was watching, but I think that this one's going to be redone. So keep an eye out for that. If anyone knows anything about that, um, post in the chat right now, I guess. What's up, Craig? I just saw not another retro channel there. Uh, let's see who else I hopped in before I 
show you the rest of the haul here. <clears throat> the new cartoon version of Slash looks amazing. What? I missed that. So they're doing Slash. Um, NECA, Turtles, Cartoon, Slash. Frickin' awesome. I am very excited for that. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So Lord Luigi did bring up a very good point. My guess is they didn't have a broken shield for safety reasons. Yeah, it could be jagged. Um, there's probably a way that they could, because they've done like a broken, have they done broken shield before? I'm pretty sure they have. Um, and just like not make it super jagged so that kids don't freaking poke their eyes out uh, with the shield. Um, I think David is making some broken shields. Big Dub says, well, I need to get in touch with David then if he's making some broken shields because that is awesome. Um, Power Collector, what's going on? Psyched to be here. Hope you're having a great day. I'm having a great day, Power Collector. Uh, hope you're having a great day as well. They're going to do a video game shredder exclusive somewhere, if not Target, with someone else, but Bebop and Rocksteady will be a Target exclusive along with Slash and Leatherhead. Holy frickin' moly. That is awesome. Chris Barco, that is frickin' awesome. I am really, really excited about that. I am... I am 100% entirely in for anything that NECA does turtle related. Uh, whether it's video game, movie, cartoon, comic book. Hopefully they do more comic book stuff. I'm 100% down. So that is really, really good news. I'm really excited to hear that. All right, so I did pick up some Motu Classics stuff. One of which is uh, regular Motu Classics, three of which are Filmation. And those three, if you watched, I think it was like two videos ago, I mentioned my top once um, for Filmation Motu Classics. And I picked up most of those, which you'll see in just a second. But I also picked up this guy. And this is Thunder Punch. He, I think he's called Thunder Punchy Man. Why did I just have a brain fart? I think he's called <laughs> Thunder Punchy Man. But basically, in the, uh, I think it was late 80s, early 90s, they did a version of He-Man that... They included caps and for those of you that are on the younger side and not old as F like me caps you used to put caps in like a gun before uh, kids started pulling out guns and people were getting shot you could have a cap gun it looked like a real gun and it was a little red circle which looked just like this and you put it in the gun and you shot it and it went pop 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 it was like a kind of like a little, uh, you know, those little snapper, f like fire work things, those little, what are those things called? Poppers. Um, it was like that, but there was like, there was like little pieces of, was it gunpowder? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what the little uh, cap was made of, but this toy in the late 80s, early 90s had this thing in the back where you put the cap in there and then you turn this thing and he literally made a popping sound so this doesn't do that but what motu classics is awesome for doing is kind of recreating the feeling and the look so he still has that backpack that he had on that old toy um and he has this accessory here which can you can take off but it's he's called thunder punch he man so he comes with like this this punching effect Comes with the clear power sword. Comes with the shield. You could take this. Uh, this. These are fake caps. There's. There's nothing in them. But it's literally just done to recreate the aesthetic. That's what it looks like. But remember these freaking caps, cap guns, awesome. So, this is one that I've wanted. I'm trying to get basically all of the He-Man's that have been done for. Motu Classics, and this was one that I remember as a kid. I never had it, and I always wanted it. So he looks great. Got the chrome paint there. I bought this one loose, um, so I got a good deal. The only other thing that I noticed is Wonder Bread He-Man a real thing. It is, and they actually did a Motu Classics version too. Um, but yeah, you could. Um, it was like a mail-away thing back in the 80s. The only other thing that I've noticed about this, actually two things I've noticed. They fixed the ankle articulation. See how tight it is now? Anyone that owns any of the early Motu Classics He-Mans knows that their ankles are super freaking loose, but look at how tight that is. It's got ankle pivot, but it's very well done. It's not all floppy ankled anymore. And then his skin tone, look at how, I don't know if you could tell with the light that I have on right now, but his skin tone 
Tyler Green says they still sell cap guns. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I didn't know that. I I thought that they kind of did away with that and just do like Nerf guns and water guns now. Um, his skin tone's lighter than all the other He-Mans. He's he's a little pale. You probably can't tell here, but that was one of the things I first noticed. I'm like, wow, he's a lot like lighter. He hasn't been in the sun like the old other He-Mans. Like if you look at the new Filmation He-Man, he's freaking. He's not only like super super tan, but like oily looking like he's freaking doused himself in baby oil but this one's i guess he's more concerned about skin care and skin cancer so he wears like spf 900 when he goes out to fight evil but there you go i got that thunder punchy man freaking awesome love this one and then here are the high high want list grail filmation motus that i picked up All right, so this morning I saw that toy department yesterday got in a huge, a huge, huge collection of Filmation figures. And these were at the very, very tippy top of my want list for Motu collectibles. Um, and after I've bought these and I got these, I'm kind of like satisfied with my Motu collection for right now at least. It'll probably all change in August. Is it August? Uh, PowerCon? I'm going to PowerCon. Uh, Narc's going there too. Craig's going there too. Going to PowerCon in Anaheim. I'm probably going to buy some stuff there. I already pre-ordered one of the exclusives. I got the Slime Pit Green Neon He-Man. Um, but I'll probably buy some more stuff there. These were actually the three things I wanted most from PowerCon. But I was like, freaking toy department got them in. Great prices on them. I went ahead and got them. So... Here's who I got. I got Man at Arms, and he's kind of hard to see because of the glare there, but he looks great. Man at Arms. This is the Filmation version. I love that they added, I love that Super 7 added the wrist articulation um, that Mattel did not have, but there is Man at Arms. Jay Lee just said, good old Duncan, yes. Uh, He-Man's right hand man, his best bud, Man at Arms, frickin' very, very excited to get this one. And then, equally, if not more excited to pick up these two bad guys. I have Skeletor, I have Merman. Um, who else do I have? I don't remember. But now I have Triclops. Bam. Really, really frickin' excited to get Triclops. And this version um, comes with... Super 7 sent a replacement head because apparently some of these Triclops figures, the visor is very, very, very hard to turn. Uh, and they don't know, quality control wise, how many got out there that are super, super hard to turn. So they basically sent out these replacement heads. So I have a replacement head. I already took the head out and messed around with it and the visor turns perfectly. But this is pretty awesome. Triclops. There's the art on the back. So he was one that was very, very high on my want list. Got the replacement head. And then here's the other guy. So freaking excited to get this one. My first ever classics He-Man, modern He-Man, Trapjaw. So I got Trapjaw. He looks great. He's got the different arm attachment there. That looks like a giant fly swatter. That looks like a crossbow. And then he's got his gun. But look at that. That is phenomenal right there. And there is Trapjaw. So I'm really excited for these. I have uh, He-Man, basically the Filmation figures that I have to open when I get down there. I have a Ultimate He-Man, Ultimate Skeletor, Fisto, Merman, these two, Man-at-Arms. I got the Strider, which I haven't opened up yet. I got a freaking Castle Grayskull. Castle Grace, so I'm looking at it right now. That's actually going to go in my backseat of my car. I'm not trusting the movers with that one. <laughs> There's actually four items, one, two, three, five, five items that I don't trust the movers with. And those items are my Legacy Millennium Falcon, going to go in my backseat of my car, my Sideshow Tauntaun, which is still my favorite thing in my entire collection, my uh, Classics uh, Grace Call, um, my Infinity War Hulkbuster, just because it's really big. I don't mind the movers handling that, but it's just gigantic. So I didn't really have a box for it. 
and then uh, Gladiator Hulk Hot Toys. So those are the five items that I'm going to try and squeeze into my car. Um, and precious cargo going down to uh, good old Texas. Um, Mrs. Cincy, we're basically taking both cars. So I'm going to have my mother is riding with me. And then I'm going to have a bunch of toys on my back seat. And then Mrs. Cincy is going to have the girls, the dog, and then more hot toys. <laughs> I have a big box of hot toys that she's going to be bringing. So all my uh, die cast Iron Mans, they're going with her. So hopefully she drives safely, not only for the well-being of my family, but also for the well-being of my Iron Man <laughs> figures. But there you go. That's the haul. This is all new stuff. You haven't seen this in any of the videos. I'm excited to open the Masters stuff when I get down to Texas. That's going to be freaking a blast to do, I'm, I'm, I don't know, maybe I'll do like a video for each frickin' Detolf that I do. Like maybe all the Hot Toys, all the Masters collection, the frickin' NECA stuff, the Joes, just doing, I think that'll be fun. So let me know if that's something you're interested in seeing. Um, but I need to get back to these comments now. So I'm gonna look at the comments and then we're gonna do some unboxing. I really wanna open these up, test the articulation out, tell you what I think of these guys. But let me go ahead and get to these uh, comments real quick. Uh, what's up, Jacob? I just, you were the first comment that I saw. It's Jacob from Instagram. How's it going? Uh, let's see. Am I getting the 1-6 He-Man figure? I actually had it. I had the Mondo He-Man figure, and I actually, that was part of the big sell, uh, pile. Um, I loved it. It was great. It was awesome. But I wanted to focus on this line. The Classics line, the Filmation line. I got the gray skull. Um, I wanted to focus on that. I also had the opportunity to buy a couple very, very, very nice, like almost premium format uh, Masters of the Universe statues. I saw an Evil Lynn, I saw an Orko. And I was like, do I wanna get into that? Do I wanna like make my Motu collection more than just classics and like expand out to the Mondo stuff, expand out to the statues? I was like, I've gotta draw the line somewhere. I can't collect everything. So I went with this stuff. So, I hope I don't regret that decision. I'm sure I will as soon as the Skeletor comes out. I'm sure I will as soon as the Faker comes out and I see pictures and see people's uh, videos on those. But, yeah, that was one of the ones that didn't make the cut, unfortunately. Uh, uh, Big Dub said, the Skeleton Premium Format at Toy Department is amazing. Uh, I don't think I saw that one yet. Um, is that a new one? Maybe I missed that one. I haven't... I I haven't even seen a worth worthy cap without the funky hammer defect. Just plain Steve, what's the hammer defect? I wonder if I have it. How did you pack the Detolfs? So that's a good question. We're actually leaving that to the movers. Uh, I took each of, each of the glass shelves out. We wrapped them with paper, wrapped them in a blanket, and then put them in a box. Um, I also took the lights out, detached all of the lights. I have the dioder lights. I detached all those put those in a box. So basically, I, I'm looking at them right now. I have the Detolfs, but there's no shelves, no lights in them. And I, what I think they did, the movers did, is they wrapped them in blankets and we just wished for the best. And thankfully, none of the Detolfs broke on the way up here um, in the moving truck, but I think that's probably how they're gonna handle it this time too. They're just gonna wrap them in moving blankets and position them well and hope they don't crash into each other and yeah. Uh, the good thing about that is the fact that they're relatively inexpensive. They're 69 bucks for a Detolf and I think that I'm already down for getting at least one or two more because I have, the, the room that I'm gonna have for my collection is a large room. It's like a three 12 foot walls I think. There's a couple windows in there but it's a large room. So I'm gonna have a lot of room to put stuff um so yeah i'm i'm hoping the detolfs don't break on the way down and if they do i'll just i guess buy some more uh let's see just plain steve said looks like they didn't break out the mold cleanly just an ugly defect on the head of the hammer now i'm kind of anxious to open this up and see if i have the defect um what do you think of the mafex hush batman i think mafex is freaking killing it and if you look at my Amazon wish list right now, my, what do you call that? Wish list? Yeah. Good God. What are they doing up there? Um, sometimes it sounds like they're just like 
there's a freaking UFC match up there and they're just like it's like freaking blood spore where they like dip their hands in glass and they're just like duking it out it's like freaking World War Three upstairs sometimes. Anyway, where was I? Mafex, killing the game. My Amazon wish list full of Mafex figures. I've got the two Kingsman figures, the Eggsy and um, I forgot his freaking name already. Uh, the other guy from Kingsman. I have those two on my wish list. I have um, all of the Justice League Mafex figures on my wish list. Um, I have the two John Wicks. Uh, they did a John Wick from John Wick 2. And there's one on pre-order for John Wick 1. Um, what other Mafex figures? Um, that Hush figure. Holy crap, it looks good. That literally looks like the definitive 6-inch Batman figure. Like the Batman figure to get. So I know it's pricey. It's like a 94 is I think is what the price was. But um, comes with an unmasked head sculpt. Comes with a ton of accessories. Just looks phenomenal. Um, the only thing, it doesn't look like it has a wire in the cape. Someone, I saw a comment somewhere where someone had said, I wish it had a wired cape. Um, Mafex is just killing it right now. Um, anyone that was afraid of Mafex because of their quality control issues back in like BVS, when they did BVS, the Superman had quality control issues, super loose joints. Um, I think the Batman had some, no, the Batman was good. The Wonder Woman had some issues with paint rub, but... There is so much fighting going on upstairs right now. They're going to come down here. I put a big ass sign on the door that says filming video on the on the freaking door upstairs. But someone's going to come down here crying. Mark my word. Where was I? Mafex. <laughs> Mafex Spider-Man. They're the ones that did the Spider-Man, the Venom. They're doing the Cyclops and the Wolverine, right? They're killing it. Mafex is awesome. I think Mafex is making a push to like... Be up there with SHF, honestly. Um, I think I think in some cases they're already there, but yeah, they they look great. Um, I I hope you keep wearing that wishbone C cap in uh, Texas. Yeah, I'm gonna wear this hat. Hell yeah, I'm gonna go buy Cincy. So that was the other thing I was gonna kind of think about is um, I keep the name Cincy, but I might change the name of the channel to be more uh, Texas. Oriented, I guess. I thought of, um, I thought of the name Big D Cincy, but then it just sounds like I'm. I think that I have a large uh, in, endowment. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, people that don't know that Big D is Big Dallas is like a nickname for Dallas. They might think that I'm like bragging. Um, so yeah, I don't know about that one. Um, but yeah, if you have any ideas on what I could change it to, like Cincy the Texan or. I want to keep Cincy. I like that name. But Cincy Collects, Cincy TV, Cincy... I don't know. Let me know. Mafex has exponentially changed since the BVS line. Their Dark Knight stuff is great. Their comics line is great, Big Dub says. Um, Big D Cincy shirt's coming soon. Texan Cincy. Uh, all I have to say is, can't wait to see you in Texas. Jacob, that will be awesome. I will see you at many cons and probably a lot of stores down there. I'll be uh, uh, visiting a lot of stores. What about everything is bigger in Cincy? <laughs> That's awesome. Brent, I actually thought of that one. Lone Star Cincy. I kind of like that one. Uh, Mafex Cyclops is sick, Ionicus. Yes, it looks great. <clears throat> What's up, Buck Wild? Uh, bigger Cincy, K Paso Cincy, Big Tech Cincy, Cincy's Tabasco, Texas Toy <laughs> Tor Room. These are fantastic guys. Well, since you're moving into the Dallas Fort Worth area, DFW Cincy could work. Yes, it could. I kind of like that too. It's nice and simple. Uh, did I sell Lobo? Uh, Jim, if you're referring to the Sideshow Lobo, yes, I did sell that one. Unfortunately, it didn't make the cut. I loved that figure. It looked great, but I had to kind of. I kind of had to just cut things loose, and it sucked. But I had to do it. I just couldn't. I had too much stuff. <clears throat> I had to do the same thing when I came up here. When I came up here in 2013, I sold all my freaking Clone Wars figures. You know those three and three quarter inch Clone Wars figures and all those old vintage collection figures? I had every single one. Every single one. I collected the crap out of those. I had two of some of those. I had one on card and one loose. I had all the vehicles. <clears throat> I had to sell it all. 
to come up here because I had too much stuff. So yes, moving does suck. And for those of you that are able to move and take everything with you, I applaud you, but I just, I had too much stuff. So it, it, it did suck. I'm gonna move my computer so I'm not like, you're not just seeing my profile. I'll do this. <clears throat> and I need a drink because I'm starting to get hoarse here. So let me read. Um, I want to read what this deleted message says. Uh, Cincy in the D. <laughs> What's up, Jason Redman? Uh, did I get those Motu figures? Yes, I did, Jason. I got, uh, um, when, I think you got the Man-at-Arms the first time, and when you got that Man-at-Arms, it kind of made me jealous, so I needed it the second time around that they got it, so yeah. I got the man at arm. I got them all from toy department. I got the Triclops, the Trapjaw. Really, uh, hopefully those weren't ones that you were looking for. They do have quite a selection there. They still have the uh, cartoon Hordak, which is a good one. They have, um, they still have Jutsu. I still need, or Chopper, as he was called in the cartoon. <clears throat> I still need that one, but I didn't get that one. Um, these were costly enough for me. King Dingaling. First of all, you have the best handle ever. King Dingaling says, the Mayfix John Wick Rocks just got mine. Uh, it does look awesome. The, the one from uh, that's on pre-order from John Wick 1 with the dog looks very, very awesome as well. Uh, what's my favorite Marvel Legend figure this year? <clears throat> hmm. I'm thinking. Because there's been a lot of good ones. Uh, it might be one that hasn't come out yet. Because um, a lot of those new X-Men waves look great. Uh, some of the ones that I have on hold right now, comics to games look great. The new Spider-Man wave, um, that freaking Hydro Man looks fantastic. I'm thinking back to ones because I, I bought a bunch recently, but I had to immediately pack them up. I I do like the um, Thanos build a figure, the End Game build a figure, even though he's got those ugly elbow joints. It looks great. The sculpt looks great. The face looks great. So that might be one of my favorite ones. Oh, what else? Um, the Gambit looks really good. The, the Beast is pretty good. Oh, man. I'm going to have to think about that. Because I know I'm forgetting some. There's been a lot of good ones, though. Oh, let's see. I was just there yesterday and tried to get him to sell me the trap job for... You got Spycore! Okay, so I was talking to uh, Matt at Toy Department today, and he, or I was talking to James, and he said he sold the Spy Corps, so I was wondering who picked that up. So, good pickup, dude. That's an awesome figure. Um, congrats to you. That, that's one that I'll, I'm eventually going to pick up, but yes, that's an awesome one. Um, tell me in the comments, what's your favorite? Maybe this will help me jog my memory. If you collect Marvel Legends, tell me what your favorite Marvel Legend is. Uh, this year that you've picked up and then hopefully then that'll help me remind myself what else has uh, come out Thank you very much Daryl. I love this shirt Cobra Kai freaking awesome um, Chris Barcoats has got Hydro Man and Doppelganger yesterday. I do like how Doppelganger looks you can pose the crap out of him Hydro Man is dope that Hydro Man looks incredible. I'm really really excited to get that Hydro Man um <laughs> <laughs> you guys are hilarious with these name suggestions. Josh Penn says, what is the one figure that didn't make the cut you wish you could make room for? Oh, God. There was a lot. Jeez. Uh, Hulkbuster. So I know that that might shock a lot of people. But, uh, yeah, I know it was, a, it was a, a grail for me, that first Hulkbuster figure. I had two Hulkbusters. And I was like, I can't go down with two Hulkbusters. So the Hulkbuster from Age of Ultron, and the reason I chose that one is because it's being solicited again. So I figured, I sold the Age of Ultron Hulkbuster, and I figured if I miss it enough, and it's like, it's like a hole in my collection that I need to fill, it's still available on Sideshow, at least for the time being, and it has the jackhammer arm, so I can get it again if I want to. But that was the one that hurt the most. Uh, honestly, that was the one that just was like a punch to the gut. That was like, I don't have room. I just got the Infinity War Hulkbuster, and even though it's a power pose, I really like it. 
I like the fact that it's one switch, all the lights come on. I like the fact I can lift it with one freaking hand and not worry about dropping it or stuff getting messed up. It looks great. It's going to look great. I'm, I'm going all in on Infinity War Hot Toys figures. So I'm going to bite the bullet and buy the Star-Lord, even though he's pretty much the same exact figure as the Guardians 2 Star-Lord. But uh, I've gotten every single other uh, Hot Toys figure from Infinity War. I have War Machine on pre-order. You'll see a couple, uh, when I do my final video from this nerd bar, you'll see a couple, I'm getting a little choppy here, hopefully that's not, hopefully the connection's not taking a crap on me. Um, you'll see a couple in the next video also from Infinity War. So, yeah, that ans hopefully that answers your question. That Hulkbuster sucked uh, selling. But I sold it to someone that really, really wanted one, and I knew that, uh, it went to a good home, so. Um, just bought the Metal Build Neon Genesis figure. I have not seen that. Uh, drained Drain. How is that figure? Do you like it? How about the Nerdverse? Holy frick, I like that, dude. I like that a lot. Cream City Figs might have just named the new channel the Nerdverse. That's freaking sweet. Why did I not think of that? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And I like that more than Cincy in DS. <laughs> uh, Mike Harris is Beast. So that's so we're so let's go down the list on some favorite Marvel Legends that people have. Uh wow, there's a lot. Alright, let me see where I left off. Okay. Mike Harris is Beast. Hydra Man Badass, Miguel on Hell. Uh, Seth Phillips is Worthy Cap. Jacob says uh, Gambit. Um, Hydra, Narc says Hydra Man is amazing. Beast or Worthy Cat, Knight of Ren says. Thoughts on the SDC exclusives? I'm The only one that I'm really super jazzed about is uh, the NECA Turtles set. I'm so happy I, I scored that. Um, I haven't really seen a whole lot of the other exclusives. I saw a video that showed some of the pops that are coming out, but I'm not really doing pops anymore. So... I gotta check out, oh, you know what I did see? Hasbro, the collector, and the frickin', uh, what's his name? Jeff Goldblum, the Game Master, is that what he's called? I really want those, those look awesome. Those look really good, I really want those. So I'm gonna get those, hopefully I get those. Uh, Just Plain Steve says, Beast, Endgame, War Machine, and Corvus Glaive. I still need that Corvus Glaive. I still have not found the Corvus Glaive Loki 2-pack. I'm still looking for that. Uh, if anyone has any uh, connections on those, if you pick, picked up an extra one and you want to let, let it go, sell it, let me know. I need that uh, Corvus Glaive. It looks freaking awesome. And I need it to complete um, the Black Order because I got all the other ones, I think. The uh, Endgame War Machine is cool because um, it only appeared in the trailer. So that Endgame War Machine is the Mark VII War Machine, which actually is not in the movie because uh, it's Iron Patriot. That final scene after the... Hopefully you guys have freaking seen Endgame. Spoiler alert. Close your ear muffet if you haven't seen Endgame yet. But when uh, Avengers uh, headquarters crumbled to the ground and War Machine was under it, and the War Machine, I think it was the Mark V, got damaged, he came out and he was red, white, and blue. Um, look at the pictures on Google. He was a freaking Iron Patriot, Iron Monger, like, freaking mashup. He was big, like Iron Monger, but like Iron Patriot colors, red, white, and blue. But it is that Marvel Legends figure. So here's the story behind that. It was based on concept art. And that War Machine is actually in the trailer. So if you watch the trailer for Endgame, when Rocket is on his shoulder... That's War Machine colors. He's gray and black and silver and stuff. They changed the color scheme for the actual movie and made him Iron Patriot colors. So it's kind of cool that that War Machine was basically only in the trailer. It's like, it's not really a concept figure because it did make it to a screen. It made it to a trailer screen. It didn't make it to the actual final finished film. Uh, let's see. KB says... Uh, Gambit. A lot of people like Gambit. Jay Lee, haven't picked up any but want to build Kingpin, Snag Scorpion, and majority want Doppelganger. My favorite thing out of Infinity War were those things. 
Um, Power Collector, I love Hydro Man. He looks even better in person. My favorite Marvel legend for the year is a tie between him and Beta Ray Bill. I actually called Comics to Games to try and get the Beta Ray Bill, but they sold out of that one. So I don't know if it's selling out because it has the Hulk heads. It's got a um, Professor Hulk heads, it, two heads for the Build-A-Figure, or if it's just a cool figure. I was gonna put on, on a side for me because it looks like a badass figure. I've always loved, loved Beta Ray Bill. I think he looks awesome, so. But they sold out of it, so I'm gonna have to continue to hunt for Beta Ray Bill. But yeah, that that does look very, very cool. Um, Where was I? Imperial Holocron says, my favorite Legends figure is either Worthy Cap or Beast so far this year. Oh man, did it jump down? Uh, Imperial, oh, toss up. Target Minerva, Cap, Captain Marvel, or Gambit? A lot of people like Gambit. I think, I think if, for those of you that do like the YouTube and whatnot and do the top 10 list, I think Gambit's probably gonna be on a lot of people's lists. I can tell you what's at, uh, near the top of my list right now, though, is that frickin' 3A Bumblebee. Holy crap. Um, if you didn't watch, I think it was two videos ago, the one right before Rip and Pucks, check out that video. I did a very, very mini showcase on that Bumblebee. That's like, I think that might be number one for me right now for the year. So it's such a good looking figure. Um, no Spidey yet, but I did get Marvel Legends Gambit, Ionicus says. Do you collect figure, figure arts? I used to have a ton of figure arts, but... Uh, I parted with them, and I'm thinking about getting back into them because the Infinity War and Endgame figure arts look so good. And again, I'm trying to... I'm, I'm done downsizing the collection, but I'm trying to downscale the collection so I could fit more stuff in my Detolfs. Um, instead of just being all Hot Toys, I want it to be a lot of Hot Toys that I like, but also <clears throat> six-inch figures, figure arts, Mafex, Masters, Legends... More stuff to admire and look at and pose and whatnot. Um, Stuart Fulbrook says, Ronan. <laughs> Jay Donkey 39 says, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Uh, Cream City Figs, Endgame Cap, Hot Toy. Oh, yes, I'm going to pre order that. I'm going to get, that's, if I get any figures from Endgame, any Hot Toys, I, I told everyone that I was done with Hot Toys on the Marvel side. After Infinity War, I'm going to break that promise because I already freaking pre-ordered <clears throat> the new Spider-Man from uh, Far From Home. The one that looks like the Spider-Man Noir. Um, and, and I got the deluxe version with the Molten Man base, the light-up base, because it just looks insane. Uh, so I already broke that promise. but And then I said I wasn't going get, to gonna get any figures from Endgame, but I'm going to get the Cap. Because Cap made that movie for me. Cap was the man. Um... All right, let's see. Chris Barcoat says, anything with the X-Men, but I was very glad to get a new Magneto today. I got two Bs, two Jubilees, two Gamuts, two Forges, one Blink, and one of every, everybody else other than the Tiger Stripe Wolverine I did get three of. You know what I'm excited to get is that Amazon exclusive three pack, the Magneto, Quicksilver, and Scarlet Witch. Uh, that Scarlet Witch face sculpt looks insanely good. The Magneto looks great, except his legs look a little skinny. Uh, maybe it's just how I saw him on the video I was watching. Quicksilver, huge. Quicksilver is like night and day improvement over the old Quicksilver. So I'm really, really excited to get that three pack. Um, it looks fantastic. 60 bucks on Amazon. It looks like it's well worth it. <clears throat> All right, I gotta work my way back up because it jumped on me. Um. Where the frick was I? Oh, that was cool. Insane Goon says, I read that War Machine took parts off the Hulkbuster. That's freaking awesome if that's how uh, he got all big and bulky. Because, like, um, I watched... S someone took a little handy cam version of one of the scenes with War Machine from Endgame. And when... After Tony does that, and War Machine, or Iron Patriot, when Rhodey comes up to him, he puts his hand, like, on his head, like like that... And the frickin' suit that he's in, that Rhodey's in, the hand is bigger than Tony's entire head. So that thing is gigantic. That suit that he's in, that Iron Patriot, I guess, Mark II suit, is huge. It's like as big as the Iron Monger is what it looks like. Uh, let's see. Damn it. I have to scroll back up. There's a lot of, pe a lot of people answered for favorite legends. 
Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm still scrolling. Okay, here I am. PS4 Spider-Man fig. Oh, I didn't pick that one up. King Dingling says PS4 Spider-Man fig, that, uh, the video game version. I still, I still want that one. I thought about getting the Hot Toy version too, but I didn't. What's up, bro? It's been a while. Glad I made it. Yes, Solo Hunter. What's up, man? Good to see your name on here. Uh, any QC issues with Bumblebee? No, none that I've seen so far. It's, it's flawless, honestly. At least the one that I got. Zack the Quack, mine has to be Weapon X, but I'm waiting for the X-Force Wolverine to go with my X-Force Deadpool. Uh, let's see. Ionicus got the Black Series first order Stormtrooper for 10 bucks. Gambit, we got another vote for Insane Goon says Mysterio. Which Mysterio? The uh, Far From Home version? I got that one waiting for me. Marvel Legends Tactical Killmonger. That is a good figure. Buck Wild says Union Jack. Uh, Grandmaster. What did I say? Game Master? Uh, yes. Thank you for correcting me. Grandmaster. Jeff Goldblum's character with the melting stick. Uh, I can't wait for that one. Will I get the SDCC Big Bang Theory Pops? I will. I thought about that because they're doing them all in like, uh, DC outfits. I think it was the Batman, Wonder Woman, uh, isn't Raj like Aquaman or something? They look good. Um, and if I do buy Pops, it'll be Big Bang Theory because I just freaking love that show. That's that's a show that I can just, anytime I'm, I have nothing to watch, I can, if I can find a Big Bang Theory, I'll stop and watch it. It's my, it's probably my, one of my favorite shows of all time. Insane Goon says Corvus Glaive, favorite uh, legend. Only exclusive I ordered was Michelangelo's Batman. I did get that one too, Jose. I picked that one up. That's a great looking figure. Um, DC actually makes that figure. DC Collectibles makes that Michelangelo's Batman. So I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully that means that we we get more figures from Batman versus the Turtles. Because I rented that movie from Redbox. I didn't know I was going to like it as much as I did. As soon as I was done watching it, I took the movie out of my thing, put it in the case... And then went to my computer and bought the Blu-ray on Amazon. So, I mean, that's how much I love that movie. It's such an awesome movie. It's great. Uh, if you're a fan of the Turtles, if you're a fan of Batman, go get that movie. It's it's great. Rent it, buy it, whatever. It's worth it. I loved it. Um, Jim70041, do I sell my sideshow figures? I sell anything. I cycle my collection. That's how I'm able to continuously buy stuff. Basically, I buy things that I like, and I see if I fall in love with them. If I fall in love with them, I keep them. If I continue to just like them, and then something else comes out that I love even more, I'll sell the stuff that I just like. Um, I, I'd go broke if I just bought everything that came out that I wanted. So I have to continuously cycle the collection to keep it going. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, the Professor X with chair. Oh, that's, I just bought that one. I haven't, I don't think I've opened that one yet. Professor X with chair, yeah, I, I can't wait. To, did Archangel come out this year? If Archangel came out this year, that's another one of my favorites. I want the World War II cap and the bike, Solo Hunter says. Um, Marvel Legends on the want list for me, Endgame War Machine and Beta Ray Bill. Those are the, like the two most popular from that wave, it seems like. No one's talking about the Loki, though. The Loki looks really good. That's a comic book Loki. I read the... Oh, I already read that. Uh, I haven't seen Endgame yet. I'm sorry, Ionicus. I'm giving away so many freaking spoilers for Endgame. I apologize. Hopefully, I didn't ruin the movie for you. Hopefully, you are um, you get a chance to see that movie. It's really great. Um, I want a cut of the royalties if you use the nerdverse. <laughs> I'll send you something nice, Nick, if I end up using the nerdverse. Um... Hasbro gets early concept art from Marvel Studios. Yes. So they base a lot of their figures on concept art. Um, that's why the suits, the uh, quantum suits, are all silver instead of white. Because they last minute changed the CGI to be white suits instead of silver suits. Even though the concept art used silver. So. If the rumor mill is true, expect the War Machine to be repainted, tooled into Punisher War Machine. Can I talk about this for a second i don't know why that comment made me think of this but um there's early reviews out and this is not going to be any spoilers this is pure theory at this point okay early reviews came out for far from home far from home 
I, I knew that it was going to be a good movie, but some of these social media reviews for Far From Home are saying that it is the, the best Spider-Man movie ever. That sets my expectations really, really high for that movie. Um, the other thing that has come out is that there are two shocking, and that is the word that is used, shocking twists in that movie um, that you will not see coming. So I'm gonna, did someone just open that door? Am I being invaded? Hello, Mrs. Cincy just came down. I'm live streaming, you wanna say hi to everyone? <laughs> well, those, you know, obviously are going in the car, so. Well, I'm going to be quiet. I'm just going to be counting boxes. Okay. Mrs. Cincy says hi. So here are my two theories on Far From Home. On the shocking twists. Theory one is that because they're, and this is from the trailer, so this is no spoiler. This is already from the trailer that there is a multiverse. Um, it exists. And, that, and Nick Fury says that in the trailer. My theory is that at the end of the movie, someone helps Peter out to defeat the bad guy. And that person is Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man from a different Earth. So I think he's going to continue to come back, maybe as cameo. I don't think he's gonna play full-time Tony Stark again. But I think that he's going to come back at the end of this movie. It is the end of Phase 3. Endgame was not the end of Phase 3. Far From Home is the end of Phase 3. And I think that we're going to get a happy ending with Tony Stark. He does exist on other Earths. He is still alive. And I think that Tony's going to come back and help Peter. So that's uh, Theory 1. Theory 2, and this is really out there, so this is kind of stretching. Theory 2 is that because there is a multiverse, at the end of the movie, if Tony Stark from a different Earth doesn't help Peter, Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man and Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man help Tom Holland as Spider-Man. Three Spider-Men, all from different movies, basically stating that those movies all occurred on different Earths. And we're going to see Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man one more time, Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man one more time, and they're going to help Tom Holland. How freaking awesome would that be? I know there's a lot of fans out there of the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies. A lot of people love the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movies. And how great would it be to acknowledge that those guys did their thing and it is in continuity, albeit a multiverse continuity. So they, all that stuff happened just on a different Earth. How awesome would that be? So I know this is probably all fan fiction. None of that's gonna happen, but how great would that be if they were able to maneuver that and make that happen? All right, so uh, getting back to comments. Um, let's see, let's see, where did I leave off? By the way, there's 157 people watching this blows my mind because it's only 420 hey it's 420 in california right now wink it's 420 on the west coast right now um so people are still technically working so thank you 150 i just lost someone for making the 420 joke 150 they're back 157 people for joining me right now this is awesome uh final live stream from the nerd bar uh but thank you for joining me i'm gonna start opening these guys because i i need to get to that so, but let me just uh, look at these comments one more time before I start um, opening these guys up. What kind of glitter glue are you trying to push us to sniff? <laughs> Multiverse Tony Stark isn't crazy enough for you. You've got to pull Tobey Maguire into it. <laughs> I mean, how great would that be? Because Tony's story ended on a sour note, on a sad note. Tony is like, he's the freaking MCU started with Robert Downey Jr. He needs a happy ending. That was not a happy ending. Yes, he saved everyone, but it wasn't a happy ending. How great would it be to see him smiling, maybe like younger, maybe they de-age him, maybe it's a younger Tony Stark on a different Earth. 
I don't know, maybe it's, maybe different looking Iron Man, I don't know. I, I just would love it if that happened. That would be great. And it's and it ends on a, on a positive note. He comes back, he helps Spider-Man, and then goes back to his Earth. And then you know, you know what? Tony's still alive. Tony's still there. Um, let's see. Um, Zach the Quack says, oh my god, never thought about it like that. My inner child is flipping out right now. Man, that sounds like an expensive budget to get all those actors. If it's a cameo, um, I mean, it, how cool would it be? I mean, to Tobey Maguire, he would come back and play Spider-Man one more time for like maybe one more scene. That would be awesome. Um, I would laugh out loud if Tobey and Andrew really make a cameo in the movie. I mean, they were Sony movies, and this movie is technically half of Sony's property. It's Sony and Marvel Studios, so it could happen. MCU's trying to keep Tony Stark alive like Tupac. <laughs> Hologram Tony Stark. Uh, I think we'll see RDJ Hollow. So there you go. Knight of Ren said that. Um, I have heard in Far From... Oh, is this going to be a spoiler? Let me just read it. I don't want to say it. Oh, that would be kind of cool. Um, Tobey Maguire better not show up or I'll walk out. <laughs> Did you notice at Tony's funeral there was a younger teenager standing in the back? Who was that? A younger Tony Stark? No, it was actually the kid from Iron Man 3. So in Iron Man 3, I think when he goes to like Tennessee, I think, um, and he's in that small town and all the extremist soldiers are trying to find him. There was a kid there, the potato gun, the kid was helping him out. That was the kid. He just looks older now because he's older now. He's a teenager instead of a, a younger kid. So that's who that was, if you did not know. Um, let's see. Is everyone forgetting Mysterio was a con man in the comics? Yes, Mysterio was a con... And there's a Mrs. Cinti cameo right there. <laughs> a Mysterio was an illusionist in the comic books. He made people see things that they weren't actually seeing, uh, that weren't actually happening. So... That's how I'll leave that, and I guess we'll just watch Far From Home and see how that all pans out. Let's see here. I have heard in... Oh, I already read that. If they talk about a Spider-Verse, we got a Spider-Ham, a Hulk bunny, and an Iron Mouse. Chris Barcode says. Um, you're getting people saying hi, Mrs. Cincy. Hi! Who wants to help move boxes? <laughs> I'm sad to see the nerd bar go. I am too, but it's going to be new and fun and awesome in the new house. I'm looking forward to it. <clears throat> um, Josh Penn says that he'll help. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you up on it, Josh. <laughs> Let's see here. All right, I'm going to open these bad boys up because I really want to see if I have the defect in that Mjolnir. Um, and then I'm going to open this one up as well and um, see how the articulation is on this Firefly figure. So let's go ahead and get these guys busted open. By the way, for any of you that have been watching the Rippin' Pucks uh, videos and you're not hockey fans, thank you. That's awesome. That makes me feel good that you guys are uh, willing to watch those. Um, I knew that I was not going to get a whole lot of people kind of like uh, watching those just because um, hockey is not the most popular sport. I think hockey is probably the least popular of the four major sports in the United States so um, obviously there's a big market for it in Canada but um, I just love the sport I love hockey I've been playing it for a long time I am looking forward to possibly playing again down in Texas so um, I love making those episodes and I love opening packs um, for those of you that have never collected cards opening packs is basically like Christmas morning you're just opening something you don't know what's inside you're hoping for the best sometimes you get something really really great um, so I just love it. Opening packs is very, very fun. 166 people watching. This is awesome. Thank you all for joining. Right now, I am uh, I went through the haul. I got a bunch of great stuff that you did not see in any previous uh, episodes. But right now, I'm opening a Fortnite Legendary Series Havoc figure, a.k.a. a 6-inch Firefly from G.I. Joe. Um, so right off the bat, I know this is based on the way it looks in the video game. And that looks like a very, like, toy-like gun. So, I understand it has to look like the video game, but I wish that that looked a little bit more like Firefly's gun. I know that's, like, a beggar being a chooser. But, um, I mean, it's still a cool-looking gun, but it would be awesome if it 
uh, look like the gun that Firefly used in G.I. Joe. So he comes with some face sculpts here. And let me pop all the accessories out. The other thing, look at that. That bomb looks very, very video game-like. Um, that he's just got a gigantic bomb with a smiley face on it strapped to his back. But let me get this the actual figure out. This thing is kind of in there. I'm gonna... And again, I apologize for my ignorance if I misspeak on anything about this figure or game because I don't play the game. Um, I know you build like shelter, build houses and stuff and shoot people. That's about all I know about Fortnite. I know that you parachute in from a plane and you get to choose where you land and you try and land near guns and stuff. I like this figure though. This is awesome. This is really cool. I like the articulation. So got a bicep cut, shoulder articulation, uh, double jointed elbows. So, and I apologize if you already own this figure and you already know this stuff, but this is my first time seeing it. So there's the bend on the elbow, um, wrist articulation. Is that, yeah, it's got a hinge. Does it have a hinge in the wrist? Yes, hinge in the wrist. Okay, so here's what I was talking about with the hand. The fingers all move down, and then the trigger finger is a different joint. Is it? No, it's not. It's all one piece. So it literally is, let's see if I can, one piece. Um, this is cool. I do like it. The ab crunch, a lot of articulation in the waist or in the in the ab crunch. You can crunch down like that far. Let me fix his arm. Crunch down. You can look up like that. Look down. I like this figure. I do like it. So he's got that toe articulation there, which I never use. <laughs> Ankle rocker, as you can see there. He's got great angle articulation. Look at that. All right, so I see why people like these a lot, especially if you play the game. Um, I do like this figure a lot, and this is gonna be a good stand-in for me. I don't know if I'm gonna buy more, uh, there was one other one that I really liked the way it looked, and it was this guy, Enforcer. I just like the way he looks. He looks very cool. <clears throat> they all look great, but that was the one that I liked the most. Uh, Rabbit Raider, that's straight up the dude from Christmas Story. Uh, Ralphie, or was it was it his little brother? No, Ralphie wore the rabbit outfit, right? Randy wore the frickin' snowsuit. I don't remember. Wild card is the one that everyone's going for because you can customize it. He comes in a white suit. I could see a lot of people making like a Moon Knight custom with uh, Wild Card. This guy looks pretty cool, the visitor. But um, yeah, I'll give it a, I'll give it a thumbs, two thumbs up, I guess. Um, great articulation. He's got a thigh cut. He's got double jointed knees. So yeah, very, very good articulation. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. I don't know if I'm gonna pose it with my Joes. I don't know if it's just gonna be like something that hangs out on my computer desk, but he's cool. I like it a lot. Let me see how well he holds the gun. Cause a lot of people, the drawback was the uh, hand articulation. So let me see how he does with that. Okay, so I could see where, yeah, so he has, Eh, it's holding it okay. And there it goes. On the floor. So, I guess that's the main issue that a lot of people have with it is the finger and hand articulation. But otherwise, it's a cool looking figure. Let me put the backpack on. I like it. Um, the only thing 
I don't really care for that much, it, and it doesn't really bother me, is the eyes. He just kind of has like a... He, he looks like kind of tired with those eyes right there. And then these eyes just look surprised. And I'm never going to use this face sculpt. It's not bad. I like it. It's a cool figure. Um... <clears throat> Let me get to the, uh, what's up, Roman? I just saw your message pop up. Um, I envy anybody that can literally count how many action figures they have in a large collection. I wish I knew. I have no clue and have it known for 30 plus years. Uh, I could not tell you how many figures I have either. I have too many. Patrick, thank you very much. That's a very nice thing to say. Uh, he says, keep up the good work. Uh, Graham Richmond, I found a Shuri, but that's it. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Shuri? Because uh, Comics Games has the Shuri. I did not put that one aside for me. Um, but I've been kind of collecting most of the MCU Marvel Legends figures. I just, I don't know what to think of the Shuri yet. I didn't get the Rescue either. But they have that one. So I'll have to take a look at that one in person. James, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, yes, James from the toy department. I, um, I picked up those three that we had talked about. Those three Motus. I'm really, really happy uh, I got those. Uh, and thanks for stopping by. Uh, let's see here. Still can't find a new Endgame wave. Um, the only place I've seen it, it, honestly, is Comics to Games. So, I don't know, maybe check your comic shops, your specialty stores. They might have that wave in. Um, Jazzwares needs to get that G.I. Joe license. At this point, anyone. If anyone gets the damn G.I. Joe license, I was really hoping that Mezco was gonna do six inch GI Joes with like the soft goods. I was excited for that. I just want more Joes. Um, I bought a bunch of the GI Joe club exclusives, the three and three quarter inch ones, but I want some six inch Joes. Um, so if anyone can make those, I guess um, for the time being, I'm good with lookalike figures like this Havoc Fortnite figure. I'm going to open up this um, worthy cap because a lot of people said this was their figure of the year so far for Marvel Legends. So let me go ahead and open this one up and I'm going to see if I have that uh, Mjolnir defect that someone mentioned. And I'll show you the Mjolnir and let me know if um, I have the defect because I'm not sure. Maricilla said, did I see the Mezco uh, Moon Knight? I did. And um, I did. I think I'm going to probably pass on that one. I'm not the hugest Moon Knight fan. Looks like my connection is crapping out. Um, are you getting the prequel Yoda Hot Toys and or SHF? I thought about getting the Hot Toys version because I thought about getting the uh, Count Dooku. And I think that would look like uh, the Dooku posed with the uh, Yoda. All right, so... Honestly, I can't tell if I have a defective mule in here. So let me show you. Oh, the paint looks different. Or maybe that's just the light. Do I have a defective one? It looks fine to me. Oh, there's a little something right there. A little piece of plastic. Like a little knot. Alright, so... Wow, this is a great figure. Right off the bat. My knee is a little loose on mine. Um, whoa, that was a joint. These kind of make me nervous. All the... Uh, the frozen joints on Legends. I'm afraid I'm going to break something. I got to heat this sucker up. His ankle joint's super tight. So, here's my worthy cap. Again, I, this never, uh, I never saw this at all at any Walmarts in my area. So, um, shout out to Jason for, um, for reaching out to me and saying, hey, we have some down here in West Virginia. And he offered to, uh, to get it for me. 
Um, so I'm very, very thankful for that. Man, his ankles are super duper tight. I cannot bend his ankles down, so or his feet down. So I'm gonna have to heat him up. My, my frickin' heaters are all packed up, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to rely on some hot water. Um, he looks good, though. He looks really awesome. Let me uh, pop the head. Is this the new Nerd Bar? It is not the new Nerd Bar. This is uh, the old Nerd Bar. Um, this is, I'm still in Cincinnati. I'm not in Texas yet. Oh, that head sculpt's really good. Knight of Ren says, uh, Worthy Cap is on my top 10 figures of the year instantly. It looks different without all the figures. Yes, it does. It looks very different. It's pretty empty in here right now. Um, Travis says, The ankles on mine were super tight. Also came from West Virginia. Um, but here is how he looks with the head sculpt. That looks awesome. Very good figure. Very, very good figure overall. And let me put Mjolnir on his hand. Uh, if you got this figure, are your um, are your joints really tight? Also, especially like his feet, because they're super tight on mine. So there's how he looks. Avengers assemble. Pretty freaking awesome. And yeah, I don't feel like trying to put that through there now. Um, he has a fisted hand on his shield carrying hand, so kind of difficult to navigate it through the little hoop there. So here is how he looks. I don't know. I'm probably going to. I don't know if I'm going to pose him with the, I really like the uh, unmasked head sculpt, but it's not screen accurate. So this is screen accurate right here with the exception of the non-broken shield. That looks great. That's freaking awesome. So yeah, thumbs up to this one. I still have to get the uh, feet to actually articulate. Those joints are absolutely frozen on the ankles. But there you go. That is the uh, Worthy Cap Unboxed Marvel Legends. Um, probably not going to unbox those yet. So I'm going to go ahead and get to uh, more comments. We're at an hour and, uh, hour and a half. Take the hand off and then slide the shield on. Oh, that's a way to do it. Um, all right, so... Oriole for you. Hello, Cincy. Did you buy tickets for next year's Star Wars celebration? No, I'm kind of on the fence for that. Um, I am deciding whether or not I want to go to celebration a second year in a row or go back to C2E2 because I skipped C2E2 and that's my favorite comic convention to go to. I skipped C2E2 last year to go to celebration and um, I kind of miss it. So I might go to Chicago for C2E2. Um, next year in 2020 instead of celebration um let's see i put the hair dryer to my cap's ankles i could do that we still have a hair dryer out um <clears throat> first i've heard of the hammer defect just open mine same mark as you showed off since the interesting so i wonder if that is the defect that um i forgot who was it jedi holocron uh, that referred to that. The little defect, that little knot in Mjolnir on the back there uh, of plastic. Nick says he needs a roommate for celebration. Um, I don't know. I think... I don't know who's going to celebration next year. Um, it kind of sucks that they're doing it two years in a row because that was kind of the appeal about it is that it didn't happen every year. So it was a very, very special event. Um, it was my first one ever last year. But again, um, I skipped C2E2 for it. And I, I went to C2E2, I think, every year that I lived up here except for last year. So I think I want to go back to that. I love that convention. I love buying artwork. Some of the, I mean, they have a great floor, great guests all the time. Their artist alley is probably one of the best 
in the whole U.S. Um, I love to visit the artists. Um, I don't, I'm not a big book signing guy. A lot of people like to bring books to get signed. I like to see their artwork, their original artwork. I like to occasionally get commissioned artwork done. But more so, I love the idea that I'm buying a one of one, the only one in existence, of original sequential comic book art. Because um, I'm a huge comic book guy. I read a lot of comic books. So if I can buy the actual page that the artist took, a, just uh, the way I think about it, there's an artist and he gets a page of words. It's just plain words. And he develops this picture in his head of what that looks like. And then he takes that picture from his head and uses his hands, his or her hands, and then creates a picture from their brain on a piece of paper. That's freaking amazing to me. I know, I know I'm taking a really, really simple concept and just making it sound like it's more than it probably is, but just the idea, and, and maybe that's just like the creative side of me because I like to think that I'm relatively creative, that I have that creative trait in my brain. The fact that someone just took words, words, and created this image and then took directly from their freaking head and put it on a piece of paper. It's the way that I think of like movies too. It's the same way. You get like a script uh, for a movie and it's just words and then the director has to take the script and then paint a picture in, in life and like, like kind of like map it out. This is what it's going to look like. I just think that's the coolest concept ever. Um, anyway, so that, that's, that's what I do when I go to C2E2. I, I hang around Artist Alley. I go, from, I go to all the artists that I just really admire, their artwork. Um, I flip through their books. I look at their artwork, and I usually buy a couple pieces of artwork. And again, it's one of one. It's the only one. Um, so I think it's just it's very, very cool that that artist kind of took their their time, like their heart and soul. Maybe they really, really, really loved that comic book that they drew. And and they really loved that image that they drew. And you're literally buying that from them. And I don't know, it's just, it's a cool concept. Anyway. Um, Imperial Holocron said there was a rumor at one point Star Wars Celebration was going to be in Europe 2020, Orlando 2021. Europe was going to be Paris Monday at uh, Star Wars Celebration when Notre Dame burned and they changed it. Just rumor. Big Sal 72s in the chat. What's up? Uh, saw Hot Toys for the first time on your channel. Bought my first Hot Toys figure, Rocket and Group from Infinity War. Freaking awesome. In seven, in in November. Seven months later, I own all no all Infinity War Hot Toys released minus Black Widow. Magic Man, congratulations. Welcome to the addiction that is Hot Toys. Um, when I got my first one, I was like, okay, this is cool. This is going to be like kind of like a centerpiece thing. I'm not going to buy any more. They're really expensive. Um, but yeah, it's nice to look at. And then I just bought another one and then bought another one and bought more. So it is uh, very addicting when you buy your first Hot Toys figure and you just want more. Um, especially if you're a huge, huge fan of movies like I am. Um, you have favorite scenes in movies and you want to kind of recreate those scenes or recreate how you felt when you saw that scene on the big screen. So that's kind of how I'm treating like my Hot Toys collecting now is if, if it's a character that I really, really liked or a scene that I really, really liked, I'm kind of going for those Hot Toys figures. So do I still have my first Hot Toy? No, my first one ever, I actually got in a trade and it was a, a DX Dark Knight Christian Bale figure. That's long since gone. Um, but I've cycled my collection so frequently. I, I have my second uh, Hot Toys figure ever purchased and that was Cap from the first Avengers movie. I still have that one. And I'll probably always have that one because I love that one. So yeah, that's I have my second one. Uh, let's see. Patrick Peluso, I'm only I'm collecting only women action figures over 100 I have and still growing. Cap with Mjolnir is my favorite part in Endgame. It was definitely my favorite part as well. Um, that whole end scene was just insane. 
What's up, sir? Big fan. Keep doing what you do. Thank you, Crimson Fog. Craig Ryan, what's up, man? Uh, am I caught up on comments? I am caught up on comments. Let me see what I missed. Did you see the Voltez V for 1900 at Toy Department? No, I did not. Holy crap. That is pricey. I'll buy Jameson, Jameson, Jameson's for our room, Nick says, at uh, Celebration. My hammer looked fine all the way around. Just the ankles were crap. Let it sit in hot water for a minute. Got them to move, but they're still tight all the way around. Chris Barcode says, uh, can't be me. Can't be me. I don't do crowds. I'm not a huge fan of crowds either. Um, sometimes I get anxiety when there's a lot of people and I can't move. Especially like on airplanes. I, I, I get anxious on airplanes because I start like freaking out like I'm in a, like a freaking tin can in the air. Um, <clears throat> but I don't freak out or anything. I, I, I just like I start thinking about like I can't move or I can't run or leave. Uh, and I occasionally feel that way like on Saturday at C2E2 when it's just like you're like this and you're just like trying to squeeze by people and there's like rows in front of tables and you can't see the table. So it's not like that at Artist Alley. So if you're a fan of like comic book artists, it's not like that there. It's it's pretty laid back at Artist Alley. So that's where I kind of spend most of my time uh, at C2E2. I think I'm probably going to do C2E2 next year. So... I'm probably, I'm probably can probably book that now, um, but I'm I'm very excited. Um, let's see. Are you going to be picking up the One Up Arcade Cabinet Ninja Turtles when it comes out later this year? One hundred percent, yes. Uh, I, day one purchase. As soon as I see it at Walmart, or pretty much that's the only place I've seen them. As soon as I see it, I'm buying it. I, that's the one that I'm most excited for. Um, but that might be my second one. I think I might get that final fight cabinet. Uh, Big Dub says it's great. It comes with at least three games that I love. 1944, if I remember correctly, was a pretty good game. It's basically just a, a flying game. Um, and it's like a, a top to bottom scrolling flying game, if I remember correctly. Strider's an awesome game. I love that game. And then Ghosts and Goblins was a great game too. Um, Narc says he cannot wait for Galaxy's Edge. I saw a video of the opening of Galaxy's Edge, and holy crap, that was a lot of people. That was just a ton of people. <laughs> but I'm really excited to see it. I want to see the full-size Millennium Falcon. I'm just really excited. Um, my grail would be Mezco or NECA Blade Runner Director's Cut figures. We don't nearly have enough Blade Runner stuff. Uh, the only thing that I can remember from the original Blade Runner are the little uh, cars. Uh, I think don't even remember who did them but they were die cast cars i remember seeing them at toys r us was it neca it might have been was it might it might have been neca die cast cars um and i don't remember the name of the actual car from blade runner but did they do harrison ford deckard um i don't think they did the mortal mortal combat cabinet is off the chain can't wait to move into my new house next month definitely going to pull uh, gonna put all my storm collectibles around that. Um, I'm actually excited. They're doing a Marvel, Marvel is it a Marvel Capcom uh, cabinet? One up. I'm excited for that if they do that one. Um, NECA Cinema Machines diecast cars from movies. Thank you, Knight of Ren, for that. Yeah, uh, that was what they did for Blade Runner. They did. They only did figures for the new Blade Runner 2049. Um, so they did the older Harrison Ford, the older Deckard, and then they did the Ryan Gosling figure, and they did the... Did they do a Jared Leto? I think they did him too. I don't remember. Uh, let's see. That was like towards the end of Toys R Us. Man, I wish Toys R Us would come back. I, I saw an article that Toys R Us is doing like a limited release thing around the holidays, so it's probably going to be like pop-up stores. Kind of like the Calendy, Calendy, the calendar store that you see at like malls where it pops up and they have like toys and figures and calendars and gifts and stuff for the holidays. That's what I'm guessing these Toys R Us stores are going to be like. I don't think it's going to be like a full uh, Toys R Us store. Uh, what's up, Chad Simmons? Will you build a lightsaber at um, Savis? Build the lightsaber. Um, is that like the, uh, you can build like a $200 lightsaber? I think that's what uh, that is. 
Um, I don't know if I'll do that. I'm not sure if that's what I'll um, get as like a a souvenir. I need a drink. My freaking throat is on fire here. So I'm going to pop one of these bad boys. How am I... I just got the low battery thing, but my freaking phone is plugged in. How did that happen? Let me make sure this is actually plugged in. How is that happening? I might have to cut this short. We're at 100 minutes. And I hate to do that since this is the last live stream ever. And we have 148 strong on here. But somehow, my freaking phone says my battery is dying when it's plugged in right now. Um, anyway... Watch people's videos of savvies. Um, Ed Guardado, yeah, I think they are on sale. I think the celebration tickets are already on sale, yes. Uh, battery could be acting up. Old phone did that to me. Um, it's Marvel vs. Capcom, X-Men, Children of the Atom, and The Punisher. Holy crap. That's a cabinet right there. Um... Ninja Turtles Arcade 1 has me wanting my first one of those. I saw on Andre the Black Nerd channel doing the classic tabletops 2 and 1 is Street Fighter. <clears throat> you know what video game I used to love? And this was probably like in my, uh, how old was I? 20. Was Rush. If you don't remember Rush, it was a driving game and you sat in it. And um, it was a racing game and you had to find like hidden passages between buildings and stuff. And like big ass freaking jumps where you jumped over buildings. I love that game. That was such an awesome game. And I would love if they did. I don't know how they would do a cabinet for that. Because you actually sat in it and had the pedals and the steering wheel. Savvy's Workshop. Okay, so. Check out the Dan O channel. He's at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge a lot. I will check that out. Uh, but Rush. Yes, if they ever did a Rush arcade game. That's another one that I would love to have. Um, I could play that over and over and over. Uh, my my kid's uh, dentist <laughs> has video games in it. So I guess the dentist is like probably my age and he's a huge fan of video games and he has Rush in there. And literally, <laughs> I, feel, I feel like such a child when I say this, but we go to their dentist and uh, Mrs. Cincy checks them in and I literally go right to the Rush game and just start playing it. Um, it's hilarious. I'm such a kid. But yeah, I, I love that game. That's an awesome game. Um, that was the other one doing the classic Star Wars arcade. Yes! Star Wars arcade games. There Aren't they... Do Someone mentioned a G.I. Joe arcade game too. For some reason, I don't remember that. Um, and I don't know how I couldn't remember that because I'm the biggest G.I. Joe fan. But I don't remember... A G.I. Joe arcade game, but someone had mentioned something about 1UP doing one, so I, I don't know anything else about that. Uh, let's see, I want to get the Turtles, Pac-Man, Star Wars 1-Ups, X-Men when they make it. Yes, X-Men was a great game. Um, the video games that I remember playing the most, Gauntlet, Gauntlet 2, Turtles, the X-Men game, um... And then Rush. But that was when I was older. Basically, every Sunday, um, instead of going to church, <laughs> my mom and dad and I, because my brother had already left uh, to join the Air Force. So there's like an eight-year gap between me and my brother. So when he was 18, I was 10. So I was kind of like an only child from 10 to 17 for like seven years. So every Sunday, our ritual was um, we had a big breakfast, delicious eggs, bacon, whatever, and then we would go to the movies. And usually I would see a different movie than my parents would see. They would go see some movie and then I would see whatever action movie was on or um, something cool. And then I would make sure that there was time either before or after my movie, before theirs was done, where I could go to the arcades because <clears throat> it was... For those of you that are in the Northern Virginia area, I know this is a wild shot, but there are 156 people watching this. If you lived in Northern Virginia in the late 90s, early 90s, Multiplex Cinemas in Fairfax, Virginia had a frickin' ass ton of arcade games. And I would play so many arcade games and then um, 
my parents would end up just tapping me on the back and they'd be like, hey, let's go. So, but yeah, I would just, oh man, those were the days. Um, going to the, playing arcade games, seeing a good movie, eating popcorn, coming out, playing more arcade games. Just the freaking time of my life. So that's what I kind of want to try and recreate that, that magic uh, in the new house with some one-up machines. I know it's not the same thing, but if I can have a big 75 inch 4K TV and then six feet away have a couple one-up machines, I mean, that's the closest thing to frickin' heaven uh, that I can experience on this earth. So I'm excited, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, let's see, let's see. For those of you that are just joining, thank you for joining. We have 158 people. I don't know how long this frickin' phone's gonna last, so if I just cut out like that, if I frickin' get Thanosed and I'm just done, it's because this phone died on me. Because it said that I have 20% remaining. Um, even though it's plugged the frick in. So anyway, let's let's get to these comments. <clears throat> um, yes, BJ, I'm still on. BJ must have gone out and had dinner and then come back. And yes, I'm still here. <laughs> um, just, I already got through the unboxings. Uh, Firefly, awesome figure. Um, worthy cap, awesome, but his freaking feet are frozen, so I have to heat those suckers up, but... Those are the unboxings. Final freaking live stream from the Nerd Bar. Uh, I already got into the orange, Diet Orange Crush, so we're rocking and rolling. I should be drinking water. There's no caffeine in this, though, so this is just pure taste to me right now. Um, let me catch up here. I've been rambling. Let's see. I want to get the turt. I already read that one. Um, we need a Cruisin' World arcade cabinet. Cruisin' World. I remember that game. What was the game that had the instant replay? It was a, it almost looked like a simulator. It was a driving game, had a wheel, and then it was like a simulator, but when you wrecked, it showed the instant replay. My brother and I would laugh our asses off at the instant replays, because there was like loops. And then <laughs> trying to navigate that loop and going off, and your car just like went airborne, and then crashed and exploded. The instant replays just had us crying from laughing so hard. I don't remember the name of that game, though. If anyone knows, pop it in the comments. <clears throat> uh, thank you for all your videos, bro. I look forward to see uh, what's next from Dallas. Best of luck. Thank you, Christian. I'm really looking forward to, uh, to Texas. The good news is that I'll be back in Ohio once a month. So I'm going to be back visiting. I'll be in Columbus, but I can hit up you know, Cincinnati, Dayton, Visit my, my buddies, hit up the stores, hit up, you know, toy department, all those stores. So I, I'm, I'm here once a month. I'm like a part-time Ohioan uh, while living in Texas. So it's, I got uh, the best of both worlds there. Um, the guy that was 15 minutes late for church, yes. Um, uh, and I don't even remember, oh, was, a, was it a Wolverine shirt I was wearing or a Punisher shirt? I don't remember what shirt I was wearing where the people were like were frowning on the shirt I wore to the church that time. Anyway, uh, played too many. Operation Wolf would uh, was cool, along with Chiller Crossbow and what was another stationary gun game. What was the one I played? Was there one called Time Lords? There was a gun game. Oh, that's another game. Not a gun game, but Aliens. There was an alien Aliens game. It was a side-scroller. And you had the big frickin' the thing that Vasquez had. It's not a it wasn't a pulse rifle. Maybe you started with the pulse rifle, but you had the really long gun. It was an Aliens game. Man, that brings back memories. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Uh, I just played the Buck Hunter games at arcades and air hockey. I love air hockey. Outrun. That wasn't the game. Uh, Burnout? Was that it? Off-Road was pretty great. Monster Trucks and Arcade Awesome. Another one said Burnout. Time Crisis! Thank you, Tyler Green. That was the uh, the game I used to play, the shooting game. Aliens vs. Predator was fun at arcades. I loved how arcade driving games jerk the wheels and make you go <laughs> wherever. Uh, let's see here. The local bowling center has a Mortal Kombat 2 full-size cabinet. Um... So BJ walked the dog, took a shower, ate a Chick-fil-A sandwich while watching a little, bit, <laughs> a little bit of the College World Series and came back and I'm still here. I think, how much time am I at? Is that 109 minutes or an hour and nine? 109 minutes. 
Two hours would be 120 minutes. We're going to go 11 more minutes. We'll go the full two hours. Um, so any questions you guys have, if you want to, you know, pour one out for the Nerd Bar. It's the last time you'll see it on, on a live stream. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Josh's live stream is about to stream. Title says he's taking a break from... What? Uh, Jose Sanchez said that. Is that for real? Um, Rai G, the collector. Air hockey was fun. I would play Sonic and air hockey for hours with my buddy Josh and his sister. Uh, Andrew, what's your thoughts on the College World Series? I haven't kept up with it, uh, to be honest with you. I kind of... Uh, I've been so focused on hockey... Uh, the Stanley Cup playoffs, um, as soon as uh, Blues won the Stanley Cup, uh, I focused on the draft, and I was interested to see some of the trades that occurred there and some of the guys that were getting drafted. Um, but I'm um, kind of like taking a, a very short break on sports. I'll start watching baseball again, <clears throat> and then I'll get into football, obviously. I'm a huge, huge NFL fan, huge football fan, college football fan. So I'll get into that, and then uh, hockey starts up again. But, um, yeah. Let's see here. Would anyone want to m want me to make a video showing our arcade? Sure, absolutely. I'd love to see that. Uh, you ever played hide the salami with Tommy and Mommy? All the time, Hugh, Hugh Janus. Hugh Janus, I just got that. That's so freaking clever. Hugh Janus. Um, there was a hologram game I remember played a cowboy and a time traveler. Uh, what was the name of the game? Dragon's Lair. That was not a hologram game, but it was like um, really, really cool, like pre-done animation. Hi, Tay Tay. Do you want to say hi to everyone for the last time from the Nerd Bar? Yeah. Tay Tay's down here. She. Oh, Lord, why are you so <laughs> heavy? Oh, you were not this heavy when we started mm. doing these videos. Mm. She's nine now. And she lost another tooth today. She lost a molar. And uh, she's supposed to lose this molar when she's like 12. But she lost it already. So Tooth Fairy is going to visit. Hopefully bring you some oh, some yeah. some cash. So you can buy some <laughs> toys. What do you want to, uh, if you get some cash from the Tooth Fairy for your tooth, what would you buy? What kind of toys? I don't know. She doesn't know. Um, LOL dolls? You still like those? Uh, yeah. She's really into YouTube now. She likes watching YouTube shows and she likes playing games, like uh, Minecraft. So I think she's already getting out of toys. You still like toys? Yeah. American Girl dolls? But it's all packed, so... Oh, okay, so that makes sense. She can't play with any... You are so heavy. Good lord, I'm gonna put you <laughs> <That's> down. <funny. laughs> she can't play with any... Here, you can... There. She can't play with any toys right now because they're all packed away. So maybe when we get to the new house, you can start playing with toys again. Um, and then you can spend your Tooth Fairy money on some, some new toys. Yeah. But say goodbye to everyone. Say thanks for watching us at the Nerd Bar. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. So we had a Mrs. Cincy cameo. We have a Tay Tay cameo right bye -bye. here. The only one that you haven't seen is um, p Dog. And then we haven't seen uh, Will Wheaton. Uh, let's see here. Anyone remember Dragon Warrior for the NES? Okay, now i got to ask, do you have a Molar? No, I don't. Uh, Molar and uh, it was the Skeletor. I don't have that. Robot Chicken did that episode, right? <laughs> All right, so we have the last cameo is... Oh, why are you so heavy, too? <laughs> Be key. Be key. <laughs> P dog Be with her missing tooth. Be key. Yeah, Be it's key. it's just water from the um, McDonald's cup. Be key. Oh. What Be are you key. saying? Be key. Be key. <laughs> Why are you talking like that? I don't know. <laughs> Be key. Be key. Be key. Anyway, say hello. Knuckle. Say hello and good. <laughs> yes, you can see yourself on the. Baki. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Speaking her own language here, that translates to, hey, thanks for watching us here at the Nerd Bar. It's the last... <laughs> Get out of here, you guys are not
Say bye bye. Bye bye. Get out of here. Go upstairs, you psychos. Yes, go upstairs and wait for me. I'm almost done. I gotta answer these questions. Go upstairs. Um. And they want more sugar. Blank palette. <laughs> Says too much sugar, getting loopy. One of them doesn't even. One of them is speaking her own language right now. It's freaking Nell or whatever the name of that movie was. Um, and and she wants pop tart now too. So there's more sugar. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna cut this in five minutes. So here comes the dog. Daddy. What? All right, bring them over here. Baby! <laughs> no, not over there. Over here. Come here. He doesn't want to be in the video. No, he does. He wants to be in the video. Uh, let's see here. Where am I? Where am I? I got to catch up on these comments after these cameos here. <clears throat> Where do you put your Marvel Legends on? Shelves or Detolfs? Um... I'm gonna put them in detolfs actually. They were on a uh, like a bookcase um, in the unfinished part. All right, yeah. hold on. <laughs> I have a freaking sore back, and I gotta carry these heavy turds. <laughs> so <laughs> here is Will Will cameo. If long time viewers, get off my freaking computer, dude. Long time viewers saw this guy when he was a puppy, uh, and now he's just a big. Freaking hairball. Psycho hairball. So say goodbye, dude. Bye bye. Alright, get the frick out of here. Good lord. I only got four minutes left. The whole, the whole family's making uh, an appearance here. Take him upstairs. Freaking spaz dog. Ah. Oh. You're exactly right, Late Fox Pictures. It is the sugar bar. I think I think uh, I think the dog even snorted some sugar upstairs. Uh, so let's see here. I gotta catch up because we only got three minutes here. Um, the worst toy channel. Have a safe trip, man. Thank you very much. I hope everything goes well. Um, good luck on the move, Cincy. I'm looking forward to seeing the collection in its new resting place after it's all unpacked in the distant future. Magic Man, I can't wait to uh, show you the new collection when it's in the new place. Um, does Tay Tay want a Minecraft pop? I think she would love that because they're they're into they're huge into Roblox and Minecraft right now. Um, who drives by their old arcade locales and flashback to the old days when it was open? See my old putt putt now a storage place and just missed it. Yeah, those are. I drive by the uh, old Toys R Us in uh, up in Columbus and get sad. Uh, let's see, the Cincy Minions, whole family signing off from the Nerd Bar tonight. Uh, good night and have a great night. See you, Andrew. Going to miss the Nerd Bar until the next live stream. Uh, new nickname for you, GI Cincy. Will Wheaton has gotten huge. Yes, he is. He hurt my freaking back just now. My cat is that big. Holy cow, that's a big cat. Poor doggo looks horrible. <laughs> Ionicus says, poor doggo looks horrible. <laughs> Was P2 in here? It says P2 Vision disappeared. Uh, or did P2 stop making videos? Um, uh, King Dingling says, wow, so big now. Are you going to be wearing a ranger's cap? I see you back there dancing. Oh. <laughs> are, you, <laughs> are you going to wear... Do you, no, I'll still rock the Cincy cap because that's my name. Um, <clears throat> although I do have a ranger's hat as well. Uh, let's see. You and your family have a safe... Thank you, Roy's Toys. Can I get your new address to send the pop after you say? Yeah, I'm going to uh, set up a P.O. box as soon as I get down <laughs> there. So we'll get that done. Lucky, it says King ding a ling King ding a ling King ding a ling See what you did with that handle? King ding a ling Ridiculous. 
Uh, my Toys R Us is a furniture store now. Mine turned into an Ollie's, actually. Uh, I'll wait to see the new place in Safe Trip. Keep on rocking, Cincy. I got 30 seconds. Any questions you guys got? Speed round. Let's do it. Ding, 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 ding. Um... <laughs> Anything? Any questions? Question, question. Mm -hmm. Good luck on your new chapter. Thank you, Sean. Good luck. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, power, favorite Power Ranger. Oh, man, you asked me a tough one right before I sign off. Uh, Green Ranger. Green Ranger's the man. Guess what? One hour and Ready? 20. What? Guess what? King ding a ling. King ding a ling. King ding a ling. King ding a ling. We're at two hours. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me in this nerd bar. Final live stream here. I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be my final video ever from this location. I'll see you guys in Texas. If you like this live stream, please give a thumbs up. Watch the replay if you're just joining me. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Guess what? What? Oh my lord. <laughs> I gotta go, guys. Adios. For now, say adios, say te. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.